Welcome back to the baby. Welcome back to the basement yard. How's it going, Frank? Who's your favorite football team? Ha <laughs> ha! You're, you're you're killing it with these jokes. What are you wearing? A Waco, Texas hat. You know what happened in Waco? You're a big fan of what happened in Waco, aren't you? You sick what? fuck. What is it? You know exactly what happened. What? It was something that white people did. I'm assuming. Yeah. You don't remember the massacre in Waco, Texas? Whatever, dude. So massacres make for good Netflix documentaries. Uh, I actually, I think it wasn't. It was. A, it was like. <laughs> <laughs> well, let me let me back a little bit. Go ahead. It was. I think it was um, a cult leader. Uh. The, the Blue Gatorade. I think that was there. Blue Gatorade. Or no, no, no. That was different. That was when they like they like fi open fired on them and like with like assault rifles. A lot of weird shit what happened. What are you talking about? It's a. It's what was Blue Gatorade? Blue. That was I think Jim Jones. Maybe I'm wrong. Uh, but he convinced like he was like a cult leader and he convinced everyone that like if they were to die together they would go to like this like ethereal plane of existence and they all drank like poison laced Blue Gatorade or Kool Aid. I believe it was Kool Aid. Oh, cool. That's cool. Yeah. So I uh, some bad stuff happened in Waco though. So well, they did that show on Netflix with I think the the guy that's from Friday Night Lights. He's the quarterback. You know, which one? The white quarterback, Taylor Kitsch. He was the fullback. Ah, I th wait. I, I didn't watch a show. No, he wasn't the quarterback. Well, he was one of the white guys in the show, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So there you go. I, so you're just love supporting, you know, mass murder. I guess that's you know. not what I was going for, but I'll take it. Um, I think. And then what is it? Magnolia Market. Oh, sweet, cool. I'm pretty sure these are two people from like the HGTV that channel where they like build houses and shit. Oh, that's Chip right. And Chip and Joanne. Chip, Joanna. Chip and Joe. Chip Jones. Chipper Jones. Chipper Jones. It was Chipper it was Jones. Chipper Jones. <laughs> <laughs> former uh, For Atlanta Brave. <laughs> former silver, <laughs> silver slugger and MVP Chipper Jones. Chipper Jones. Yeah, he builds houses now. Yeah, I mean uh, he probably does a lot of money. I would yeah, assume. I would assume he has some real estate. He could say, he could if he's a some... smart guy, he does. I mean, I, w I would hope so. Atlanta, apparently, great place to be. I've never been. Okay. Um. <laughs> How are you? Dude. How are you? How are you? How are you? <laughs> I didn't tell you this. I have a video of it on my phone. I was driving. Uh, I was. Le I left here and mm -hmm. I was driving. Mm -hmm. And uh, I get on the highway. And um, you know what? I'll just play the video. Just play the video. Something. Some buffoonery happened on the highway. Buffoonery. Yeah, bro. A spider crawled across my dashboard. What? A white one. What? A white spider. I Crawled across my dashboard while I was on the highway. A white spider. You had a white widow, Joe? You might be smoking a little too much of that. How you doing? Wait, is a white widow like a real thing? I know black widows. I, I saw a black widow in my backyard a couple a couple days ago. You know, when I, I, had a, I had a period of time in my life as a chai where I was terrified oh, of black widows. I, I will tell you, I have a period of time where I am now currently living where I am currently terrified of them. Don't they? They bite you, you're dead. Well, I, you don't turn into a fucking Marvel superhero. Yeah, no, no, nothing cool. Although that didn't happen to the character Black Widow. Uh, I was like, apparently for like adults, it's like bad and you need to get it like treated at the hospital. Yeah. But it's like fucking fatal for like dogs, animals, and children. So Fire. now I'm like really freaked out. At least you're safe, dude. Well, yeah, that's the most important thing, you know. <laughs> You know, and by the, it won't get up to the money maker. You know, yeah, yeah. By please, the time I figure please. out it's there, it's right. it's below the belt. Of course, yo. And if you can't kill a spider, and you're over there thinking you could kill a girl, bro, I gotta say this thing. First of all, hold on. I want to set something straight here, okay? Because I'm gonna set something straight before you show me this video of you 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 know doing something illegal and using your phone while you're driving. I can't tell you how sick I am of this bullshit. I've gotten tagged in so many tweets. Our own fr our fucking Josh tagged me in a tweet because someone tweeted something like 7% of people on the planet think they can beat a grizzly bear in a fight. I have made it very clear, very clear. I am 90% sure I cannot beat a grizzly bear in a fight. The 10% is where I'm really <laughs> well, upset no, Well, I am not, I'm not one of those people that's like, yeah, I can do it. I know I cannot 90% of the time. No, Frank. That's See, ten, that's ten, leave out the last that, ending part that of that. That 10% I have a bazooka. I don't even think you can... You don't think I'd win it with a bazooka, Joe? No, I think you fire a bazooka at a... Ba I, uh, don't even get me started. Anyway, this is me freaking out about the... Not freaking out. I was more upset. I had a long day. Okay. Mm, that's not it. This is it. What the fuck is going on? <laughs> what the fuck? That was it. That's all you said. Bro, look at this thing. Was it a big? Was it a big boy? 
Oh, that. Oh, that is not a small whore. That's white. That's it was a, a big slut. That's a white. That's a white spider. It was a white spider. It was yeah. kind of yellow. Was it throwing up gang signs? No, it had a fat butt though. It was it wearing one of those like spider jackets that people in the late two thousands wore? What do you think? <laughs> What do you think? I think it was. <laughs> and you had a spider jacket. You love that thing. My dad had it, and I took it from him. You robbed your father? I didn't rob him. He said I could have it. I, but I took. I, I was the inheritor of the jacket. Oh, so that uh, was your inheritance. But did I ever tell you about the time? Um, the, so the night that we recorded the Slam Poetry, uh, C, version 3, V3, yeah, uh, which is on saying I got a studio's YouTube now, V3. that's five. No, this is a V. Oh, this is three. okay. I was, <laughs> um, I was driving home because I had driven from here. I had driven Greg to the place that we filmed at. Right. And then I parked, got out the car. On the drive home, I look on the dashboard and there's a, like a frog figure. So I'm like, what the fuck figure? Bro, like an entity or like a thing? No, no, no. Like it, I'm looking at it and it looks like a frog. Like an action figure. Yeah. Oh, bro. I thought you bro. meant like a figure. So like I'm that. looking at it. Like, 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 you know, like a, a frog. A, yeah. <laughs> and I'm looking at it and I'm like, did Greg like plan something to fuck with me? Yeah. I'm, th I, I'm imagining that Grant, Grant, his name is Greg. Yeah. Like wanted to fuck with me in some capacity. So he put something in the car. And then it fucking jumped. Bro, I was driving home at 1030 at night with a live frog hopping across my It was desk. a real frog? Yeah, bro. It was a real fucking frog. How did a frog? I have We're no. In Brooklyn. I have no idea. I legitimately, no clue. The only thing that I could think of was that it must have gotten in my car where I live because there, we, we often have frogs in our lawn. Right. And it just like hung out in my car for the day. Hold on. In the summer heat. This thing was on your dashboard, bro, and, and you left it, and you were driving, and it was just still chilling? I thought, bro, I thought, like, I was like, no, because when I got in the car and left the car, it wasn't there. I was driving on the parkway, home. Oh, and then you saw it. And then I saw it. I was like, oh, shit. I was like, <laughs> Greg. And then it and then I And then I had, uh, I think, like, when I, yeah, I had, like, texted him when I was, like, getting gas, and I was like, haha. Did you leave a toy frog on my dashboard? He's like, no. And then it fucking, you know, when you can see like frogs, like you know, like breathing doing, or doing this breathing thing. Yeah. And then it hopped across my dashboard. I was freaked out. Damn. It was not that big, but then I had to worry about this thing hopping on me when yeah, I'm going no. 85 down the parkway, bro. A fucking. Fro Are you okay? By the I'm way, all right. I'm right. I'm drowning good. over there. Yeah. Uh, if a frog jumps and lands on my face, dude, just I'm just gonna. Flip the car. Yeah, you might as well. I'm just going to do that. So then when I got home, I spent like another like 25 minutes like trying to get the frog out of my car. Oh, oh, and I just gave myself chills. I mean, it, it, it's a frog. No, Take no, no, because I was thinking of like I, what you just said was like you spent the rest. When the, the spider, by the way, I killed it with a $10 bill because it's all I had. <laughs> I knew you would like that. Oh, all I had, it was in my, God. I was like, oh, like I was freaking out. I'm right? just, you know, what's funny is <laughs> in addition to what this story, I imagine like the people on the fucking BQE coming up to you asking for money and you're like, no, no, I got no, I got no cash. And then you're fucking squashing <laughs> a poor $10. spider. In my house, we try to save spiders. We don't, we don't, uh, you know, unless they're like, we can't get them out of the house. Oh, uh, so, <laughs> bro, I when I saw this black widow in my backyard, I couldn't believe it. I took a picture. I would have stomped that thing. I did. I had to. Yeah. I had to stomp. So it was in my lawnmower, like where I like open a hatch and like I put like the like the leaf trap on it. Not the leaf trap. You know, like the grass. Like the bag or yeah, whatever. the bag. And I saw a fucking spider, and I was like, oh shit, that's a pretty cool. Well, that's a very black spider. No. And then it moved, and I saw the red on its torso, on its abdomen. No. And I was like, I gotta look this up. I got a picture of it and everything. It yeah. It was pretty fucking rad. I gotta uh, say. I wanna, I wanna see it. Did you say rad? Yeah, I did say rad. You just said it's pretty fucking rad, dude. <laughs> what are you, a fucking skater from 1998? It was pretty rad. Um, where is the? Yeah, look at the look at the Black Widow. I hold on. I, give me this. Hold on. Hold on. I took it. Yeah, dude. Yeah, it was. I didn't think. I thought it was just like a regular, like fucking, like forest spider. 
And then Frankie, I Frankie, I thought you were showing me a fucking party city spider. No, dude, that's a real spider. I don't even want to touch your <laughs> touch screen, bro. I said mean, I could do those magic tricks where it fucking pops out at you. Yo, that's the not you're you're fucking with me. Why what? is it so shiny? Uh, that, that's it's what plastic. It, that's what it, No, no it wasn't. Give me the phone. I'll show you another picture. Bro, it was fucking real. Dude, I I couldn't believe it. I, I Yeah. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yo, I I, I'm getting goosebumps right now. Very afraid. I'm getting goosebumps. Yo, I would have, I would have literally screamed. It took off screaming in the other direction. I, uh, so I took a picture like when I opened it. Is that yeah? That's the that picture. thing's fucking huge. Bitch. I took a picture and I was like, oh shit. And then I saw the red. I was like, wait a sec. And then it moved around and it gave me a better look. It does look fake. I am right there with you. It was very real, dude. And minutes later, very dead. How'd you kill it? I had to. How? How? I had to, so I had gotten like uh, oh my god dude that is so scary that's, had, that's way too big it was terrifying so in our backyard we had like a like a plastic like baseball and it had cracked open so I put it I got I like scooped it in the baseball but it was real shallow so I like ran over and I dumped it on the ground and I stomped it out what the fuck was that tongue thing <laughs> did you eat it too it didn't I didn't dude I no, can't I eat it it's how you die I. I was not expecting that literally at all. Yeah, it was pretty. I've never seen a spider that. I mean, besides in uh, when I was in Sedona, then I saw a tarantula that big. But I've never seen a spider like that because tarantulas are like one thing, and they're hairy and gross. And yeah, like of those. Shit. Those are one thing, but those are like actual like evil it demon looked like looking it was... sharp hands. Yeah, spider. Yeah, yeah. You know it what looked I mean? like it. Honestly, it looked like a spider out of a fucking Tim Burton movie. Yes, bro. Oh like, my god, legit. Uh, yo, yeah, yeah, and that's what. And then I said to myself, like, great, now I can't be confident with my kids playing in the backyard because a fucking black widow spider is gonna crawl on them and bite them. That's fucking insane. Yeah, it was pretty scary. No eggs. I checked for eggs. There were no eggs, uh, but that that thing got stomped out pretty quick. Fuck that. Yeah. Well, what are you gonna do? Get a blowtorch. Um, Blow it up. Well, Torch the yard. It's no, it's dead. It is very dead, and I don't think. What'd you do with the carcass? <laughs> I left it there for any, you know, birds or any, you know, birds, b people, people, animals that want to eat it. Yeah. Uh, but it was, it was fully dead. I stomped that thing out like it owed me money. Right. Yeah. I, I'm like, so. Is this like. I was thinking, bro, I'm so, I, you know, I, I, all jokes aside, which I'm not joking. I was not expecting that at all. And that's why when you were uh, first showed me the picture, I went, cause I thought you were <laughs> fucking with no, me. No, dude. It was very real. And it was, it like, maybe it looks bigger in the picture, but it was still, like, that big. It was, like... Wait, what are you, what are you showing me? Your fingers or the hole that you're making with the, your fingers? Like, like, that big. What, this big? Yeah. Oh, yeah. No, Frank, that's, that's way too fucking big. Big, man. And when I saw the red, I was like, whoa, dude, that's pretty bad. At, and then it hit, and I was like, oh, fuck. There's their problem in this backyard. Fuck that. The spider that I saw was, like, a little pussy compared to that thing. Yeah, I, I, little pussy spiders don't scare me, but the ones that can like I don't do like damage. Icky, you know me, bro. I don't. I don't like that they. They. You don't walk. like creepy crawlers. I don't like creepy crawls. And then when I killed it, I killed it with a ten dollar bill. That and is then the I most. Lost I it. fuck it. I lost it though, and I was like, oh, "Well, oh, it's dead." No. Well, I don't know. Well, I you can't see. I need to get that body. It. Sometimes see. when you kill a bug or an animal, you feel its life leave its body when you crush it. You know what I'm talking about? See a therapist. <laughs> uh, I I lost it. I lost it in the ten dollar bill. I like I, I was like, oh my god. And then I was so then I used another hundred dollar bill that I had lying <laughs> around to smash that. Let me guess. So I was like, it was a fuck. And then and then I saw it was hanging. It was hanging off of a thing. So that's. I, then I got the bill back and I went like this and I crumbled it up. It and then what did I do? I put it in my door. The the $10 bill? With the with the can spider I, in can it. Can I have the $10 bill? There's a spider in it. You can have care. it. I don't care. Throw the spider out. Give me the $10. You can have it. Easiest $10 I've ever made. I'm not touching a spider a spider bill. God, yeah. Well, first of all, that makes it sound pretty cool. Spider bill? Spider bill? It's like a Spider-Man Bill Clinton mashup where he's swinging through the city. He's like, ah. Oh. Had better jokes, I think. <laughs> better things. Um, <laughs> for any of you guys out there that want to know, like the real person, if you're with a partner, if you're dating someone, whatever, and you want to know the real type of person they are, have them walk through a spider web. Then you will see the type of tough person that they are. Because well, I I'm can absolutely guarantee you that they are just like the rest of us. They are little bitches. Yo, I'm not brave. 
<laughs> yeah. When it comes to animals, I feel like when there's actual like panic and stuff, like I feel like okay, I'm all right. Like whatever with like you know mm -hmm. human shit. Mm -hmm. You know, like a shooting or or something. Like I feel like I'd be like okay. Yeah. If Wait, did you say human shooting? Yeah, it was just like yeah, human stuff. Oh, you'd be brave if there was a gun. Not brave enough to be like, I'm gonna go tackle that guy. Unless he got really close to me, then I would think about it, and I would just start sending signals across the room, like, bro. So all all, guy, all a criminal would need to do is just have like a spider, a spider shirt, on. without a doubt. <laughs> or if 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 listen, if a robber comes into my apartment, I'm fucking going. At, I have to go after him. You have to. But if he has spider legs. He could have everything. Oh, so so it's the legs. All right, so hear hear me out. I want to become a career criminal, and I want to start, you know, just like burglarizing houses. Yeah, I'm just gonna bring with me a bag of like crickets or cockroaches. Uh, cockroaches will make me move. Spiders. I bring a bag of spiders. You know how you can go to like Petco and you can get like a bag of like crickets or whatever. Crickets, crickets won't do that for me. Really? For some reason, they'd piss me off. Yeah, I don't. I don't like them. What if I got like, uh, like just like a bag of assorted beetles? I'm out. <laughs> I'm out. I may even burn the shit before I leave. <laughs> you would just yeah. Just throw some kerosene. Get some insurance at least. Yeah, that would actually. But be... literally, cockroaches, spiders. I will just leave everything that I have behind. What about uh, I? I've pet a hissing cockroach. They have, um, you know where, you know where I'm gonna bring you next time you come to Tom's River in a couple years. I am gonna bring you to Insectopolis. It's a, no. it's an insect museum no. No. Uh, by us, and um, they have like a petting zoo part of it where like they have like millipedes, centipedes. Why doesn't this fucking broke ass zoo get a goat? <laughs> Because, because I've pet goats, it's and all that's about, fun. It's all about insects, Alpa dude. Alpaca. Who wants to pet a cockroach? Uh, freak. I, You're I, going to zoos where you pet cockroaches? First of all, first of all, I didn't. I, I, we went. We brought the kids there because we thought it'd be you fun. You brought your children to a cockroach farm. It was. It was a museum. For, Disgusting. It's a museum for insects. It's pretty cool. They you, also have a lot of cool butterflies. You made your children pet a cockroach. You freak. He Ew. he wanted to. Also a tarantula. You pet a tarantula? Yeah. Oh! Yeah. I'll tell you this. Very furry. Yeah. Yeah, they're very... They got hair, man. But this one was... I think it was like... It didn't have fangs or, or something like that. Oh, fuck the fangs. And it was just like pumped to be there. It was like... Ew. It was hanging out. It actually crawled on me, like up my neck. No, Frankie, shut the fuck up. <laughs> the crawling on my neck. Look I tried them. to put my hood up just now. Look at him. <laughs> I'm wearing a hood. Look at him. Speaking... Actually, I don't like it. I don't like it. You don't yo, want I, to speak? Yo, for real. I, 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 listen, I... Like... For a second, mm -hmm. no, don't fucking laugh. I'm being dead serious when I say this. Okay. Please, for the love of God, please don't ever push on this button of mine. What? Like, don't ever fuck with me and like throw shit at me or like put a spider. Like, just don't. Cause what I about, like, will fake, get What about violent. fake? What I about will get fake violent. ones. I will be very fucking upset. All right, bring you put him, an actual, Greg, bring him in. You put an actual <laughs> spider like on me, and I'm gonna fucking hit you. Every time I did that once to someone. You put a spider on someone? Yeah. You put a cockroach on me, bro? <sighs> I'm going to punch you. We're going to argue. And then on my way out, boom, right to your fucking window. Really? Bang! Really? Stupid fuck. <laughs> As I'm in the street. And then I'm going to tell all your neighbors. You're going to tell every single I'm one gonna of them. I'm just going to make shit up about you. Like? He's a racist. Yeah, yeah. That'll, that won't check out because I'm not. But, I mean, they. I'll say he's going to... I'll make, dude. I can come up with something. I know, you know. Now I gotta think about this. Now I think that if I just make one quick phone call to my friend Ant, we could do a Fear Factor type episode or standing out of studios I or something. I thought about that. I thought, well, not about that. That I'm not doing. Fuck that. I already told Ant too. I'm like, yo, you do the bugs thing. Just bugs. Yeah, you you are gonna have to find a new job no. because that's <laughs> not happening, bro. I'm not doing bugs no more. No the more. Have you done them before, bro? There was a video on standing out of studios where I had to fucking eat. Shit, and one of the things was like a fucking bug. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I remember. It was like it was a like it a smel beetle. It smelled like a, a like you a won't mummy. even eat dead ones. You eat a beetle? Yeah, yeah. Oh, I'm way braver than I. I've eaten. Remember, Danny that one time got a, a yeah that a was crickets and scorpions and shit. I'd do it. 
If they're dead and I know that they're gone, you know, their souls have left their body. You want to hear something funny? You, you, when you talk sometimes <laughs> about animals, you sound weird. You want to hear something? When their souls have left their body and I can consume, like, what are you saying? You want to hear something funny? Like the um, boogeyman. Since we're on the topic of bugs, recently uh, we were at the house and Miles was, like, playing with something. We were watching TV and there was an earwig on the floor. You know those things that have like the fucking pincers on the back. I don't really know what they look like. They 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 look like little bugs, but on the on their butt they have like fucking teeth, like pincers. They yeah. look like okay. But he was like, oh my god, and I was like, dude, just get it. And he's like, no, I, and he clearly wanted to save it. And I went over and stomped this thing out. <laughs> and I go, oh, it's an earwig. They don't have souls. Who cares? And he was he was like, and Becca wow. was like, what are you? And I was like. Oh, he's still alive, and I tried to, like, and then I flushed him right down the toilet. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. You, so you guys try to save everything? What if you find a, a, a cockroach? Uh, I mean, with reason, you know, if we can save something, we will try. Like, we've, we've tried to save as much as we can, but, like, there are certain times where it's, like, it's a, like, mosquitoes and flies, I have no sympathy for those fucking little racists. I get them, <laughs> I destroy them, and I don't care. I'll, I'll and I'll, like, ticks, too. I can't tell you. I burn. Ticks. Yeah. You have ticks? There are ticks in the world, Joe. Yeah, I know they're in the world. Not in my world. Not in my house. We've never had a tick at our house. But, like, I remember we were, I think, at our in laws because they live fairly close to kind of like a wooded area. And they pulled a tick off one of the dogs. You put that son of a bitch down, and I fucking burnt it alive. This is, remember what I was saying before about the way you talk about it? Like, what do you, why? That's what you're supposed to do to ticks. You can't just kill? No, they say burn them. They say burn them? Yeah, they. I think you burn them to get them off your skin. I not think, burn them like blowtorch them. I think it's like a thing that we do. It's like we've figured out like to get back at the ticks. If by they you mean serial killers. Big, a, no, I, big, big, big tick. Big bug tells no. us to, to burn the ticks. Big bug does not. They say you could burn them off your skin Why? to get them off. Well, I don't know. But I will say this. The only thing that there's consensus across the board, big bug told us like, hey, listen, kill those lantern flies. And everyone's just like, all right, no problem. Yeah. You know, the United States of America will be like, hey, wear a mask. And you have, you know, a portion of the population are like, fuck you. Oh, do that gay shit. <laughs> and then you have, an, and then they're like, but you have to kill these bugs. And everyone's just like, no fucking problem. I am your soldier. They're bugs, bro. They're disgusting. Also, actually, I'll say they're very pretty. They kind of have that red little thing. It's kind of cute. Yeah. And they, and they have like a, like a dragon fruit wing. What is that? It, there's like little little dots on it. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, if you don't, what's it called again? Uh, lantern lantern fly. fly. Look those up. I will tell you this though. They have no respect for personal space. Those things fly all over the place. Bro, I, the first time that I came across one, because like I had seen it and it was like, uh, and, and Marco, he was on a run once and he was like, yo, I just saw like 40 of them. So apparently they're like on the, like the west side. Or yeah, whatever. dude, they are. And so I hadn't seen any. And then I saw one on my terrace. It just like landed. And I was like, oh, my time. <laughs> right. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yo, these things are hard to kill are like. Yo, you go to step on them and they jump in the air like a and kangaroo. They literally, I, I, the first time I saw one, I felt such an internal like this is I. I have to be of service to my country right now. I'll ne I've never been man enough to go into any branch of the military, whatever. But at that moment, I was fucking hoorah fighting, going down for this country. Yeah. And I went to step on it, and like as my foot's here, it's fucking bink. Like right, and I was Juked like, your shit. Yeah, dude. I chased that son of a bitch around a fucking parking lot for a good minute or two. Wow. I got it. Nice. They're a little squishy. Yeah. Who was I talking to? But they were like, you can't just step on them. You have to step on them and drag your foot. I'm like, relax. Oh, I, I, I give them the, the, you know, the tap. Oh, you give them the one, two step. I step, and then I fucking... What was that? You step and then give it a, like an old rabbit foot? Yeah. Just to make sure it's dead. And if it's not, honestly, kind of also do I put it out like a cigarette. <laughs> yeah. You stomp and squish. And squish like that. I sometimes... Um, I stomp on it, but light enough so that it's like just disabled, but it's still alive. So then a bird can come and eat it. Frankie, you haven't said anything about animal, but insects in the past, whatever that have been normal. I think it's normal. I think that someone needs to talk to you. No, I think I'm. I think I'm just trying to do. You just said you disabled a fly so that a bird could eat it. Well, I mean, I'm trying to give back to the circle of life, baby. Because guess what's going to happen to that bird? Why does it need to be alive?
It's, it's be- more no, fresh. I'll save you time. What do you you it's want? More fresh. You want you want fresh ingredients. Better ingredients, better pasta. No, better in Papa Papa John's. Papa John, you're a big fan of his, aren't you? You've had for years and years. You told me. Did I you go no, to that I seminar. No, no, you're right. For, I, I was like, like, yo, I love Papa John's. Really good pizza. You're like, I feel like the owners got a lot of good ideas. That's what you said. I, I, like the pizza. I never said that. I like the pizza. He was like, I, yo, I was like, uh, this was like 2008. Like, yo, the mission statement uh, this was, that the CEO this was had like, was really good. This was like 2008, and then you came back from that retreat with him and those other white hooded guys. Uh, you know, back in like 2015. You're 2016. mistaking me for someone else. Mm, you no, told me. No, no, no. I'm you pretty, were like, pretty yo, sure. Papa John actually has a lot of bright ideas, and I was like, I don't know about that. I, I didn't say that. You did. You were I like, yo, the garlic was, if butter I did sauce. Say, if I did say that, I was in reference to his food. It was not in reference to anything he said in his lifetime. I will. I just feel like, and you were on that business call that he made that one time. Was I? I don't. I feel if like I you recall, were. Oh, I don't think I was on that business call as much as I was recording it for you if I was. I mean, you, you're pretty adamant that you like to be included in all these calls and stuff. Yeah, but really only because I know you like it, and I like to get you a good birthday I do present. like the food, but you have always been a big fan of Papa John the person. Well, we can agree to disagree. <laughs> I think you're getting me wrong here. Oh, man. <laughs> uh, but it's funny. You brought up a petting zoo before, and I actually I went to a party the other day that had a petting zoo at it. And I had to bring this up and tell you about it because I couldn't fucking believe what happened. We'll get right back to that in a second. <laughs> Let me bring this up. because That's, I, That's how feeling. the cookie crumbles. That's no, how it crumbles. I also went to a petting it, zoo recently. Oh, cool. This is how it crumbles. Are you just saying words? The cookie. Okay. What did you watch? Bruce Almighty recently? What no. movie is that? Is it? Yeah, that yep. is Bruce Almighty. Nailed it. It's a good okay. Movie. Uh, guys, we have some ads for today. The first one being Liquid IV. Liquid IV gonna keep you hydrated okay you, it's a little packet you open it up and you put it in 16 ounces of water you stir it up and it tastes amazing they have tropical punch watermelon strawberry those two are my favorite um actually kind of like the lemon lime but the watermelon's amazing and the strawberry too um but all these are really good uh but yeah it, it hydrates you two times faster and more efficiently than water alone so these are things that i bring to you know bachelor parties the last one I went to, they had them there. Uh, I bring them uh, on trips or whatever. I just was when I I brought them to the van when I was in Seattle, because uh, it's a good way to start your day if you had been drinking the night before, just to make sure your body's hydrated. Also has five essential uh, vitamins: B3, B5, B6, B12, and vitamin C. Uh, Non-GMO, free from gluten, dairy, and soy. So for all those allergic peeps, you guys are good. Uh, they've also donated over 25 million servings in 50 plus countries worldwide. And you can grab this in bulk nationwide at Costco or get 20% off when you shop better hydration at liquidiv.com and use the code basement at checkout 20% off. That's a big percentage 20% off anything with the code basement at liquidiv.com. Go hydrate yourselves folks. All right. Uh, next here we have FitBod. FitBod is great because they understand how to optimally get results for you. Uh, you know, you can't just go on the internet and find a random workout plan for you and think that's going to do the job because everybody's body's different, everybody's goals are different, and they understand that. So they customize a program for you based upon you know the information that you give them. Do you want to lose weight? You want to lean out? You want to get stronger? Put on some weight? Whatever it is, they can uh, help you with that. Um, also. You know, if you hit a plateau, they can help you get over the hump um, so that you can continue your progress. Uh, they also have videos that teach you how to do certain workouts. If you don't have any access to a gym or anything at, at home, you can do body weight stuff. They have everything for you at FitBod. Uh, you go to fitbod.me slash basement, get 25% off your subs- uh, subscription, and you can try the app for free. Um, but yeah, try the app for free. Uh, our link is in the d- description below. Go to fitbod.me slash basement. Uh, again, fitbod.me slash basement, F-I-T-B-O-D dot M-E slash basement. All right? There you go. So, Frank, please. So, uh, someone in our area, a kid that's in Miles' class, his parents threw a Halloween party. Which, by the way, fucking, you're throwing a party and it's not a birthday, all power to you. Like, if, it's one thing if you have it for, like, your family. But if you're inviting, like, a class, <laughs> that's a lot of fucking work. They have a big house. Yeah, pretty big house, you know, but but just a lot of work. However, the point I'm getting to is they, in like the invite said they were having a fucking petting zoo in the backyard. 
So you I get to the backyard. A petting zoo at a Halloween party? Yeah, bro. I get to the backyard and I'm like, oh, all right, you know, this is no petting zoos here. But I saw the truck out front, so I was like, oh, I'm sure they're gonna set something up. They set up like an enclosure, without exaggeration, half the size of this room, which not small for an un animal. Right. They put like six fucking goats in it. Fire, love goats. Goats are pretty cool. They had the horns too. Yeah, those are rams. No, the ho- the rams are the ones that have like the twirly fucking, ones. The twirly ones. These oh, are just this the, ones were like yeah. These were like you know just antennas. back. Um, a donkey. Was it was it laughing or what is that? What is that? That's a what, hyena, Joey. Honking? What's that called? Yeehawing? Yeah, not yeehawing. They're not doing whatever you Honk, were just gonna. Honking. I don't think honking is. What does it? What does a donkey do? Yeehaw. Yeah, hee-haw. Oh, hee-haw. Yeehaw. What's that? Isn't that called honking? Am I making that up? I don't know where the fuck you would have gotten that. I'm from. also thinking honky, which is like not uh, it. Obviously. Uh, honky is like honky tonk. No, I, I, isn't that like a derogatory white person word or something? Honky. Yeah, like, I think uh, so. Yeah, because we might have just well, upset yeah, somebody there. Yeah. Someone. Um. Uh, yeah. Upset all the white people that really get offended by Some us. Some guy named Brad's freaking out right now. Yeah, and he's like, I can't believe they did it again. Yeah. <laughs> uh, and then the part that I couldn't believe. Remember, you have five goats. A donkey, which are not, they're smaller animals. The donkeys are pretty big. They're, by the way, the, the, the enclosure, it's a metal like fence that kind of goes like barricades. Uh, barely taller than my daughter. Maybe like a, like a half foot tall, like six inches taller than Ruby. And she's a short little idiot. So, <laughs> bro, they brought in a fucking bull. A bull? A bull. Bull. And I knew it was a bull because I immediately, anytime I see an animal like that, I check for titties. I check for the udder. Every time you see an animal, you check for tip. T- well, uh, uh, whether it be a bull or a cow. Because you need to know. Bro, you can tell the difference between a bull and a cow. No, sometimes they can look fairly similar. Like, you have cows that look like bulls and bulls that look like cows sometimes. I mean, a black and white cow. Well, not all cows are black and white, you fucking stupid idiot. You have brown <laughs> ones, too. Jesus Christ. <laughs> yeah, but come on. No! Aren't, aren't bulls black? Not all of them. Bulls are just male cows. I don't know about that. And I'm telling you about that <laughs> one, Joe. Yeah. But so bro, what color was this? Bull. Brown and black. Brown and black. So you would have been terrified of it. So this is... <laughs> so it was a brown and black bull. Brown and black, dude. And it was big. Massive bull. Big. Uh, like, no joke. 1,400 pounds. What? Bro, big. So if this thing decides to take a nap, your daughter's dead. Well, that's the thing, is that it's a fucking kid's party, and there's a full bull. Were you wearing red? Was anyone wearing red? I'm trying to think, what was I wearing? Is no. that real, also? I Are also, bulls going to run after red? I don't know. I don't think so. I think that's just a trick that, you know, conquistadors wanted to come up with. Not I, them, the matadors. Yeah, matadors. Um, <laughs> trying to think. Was Ruby, was she wearing? I don't think she was wearing red. She was wearing green. Miles was... Mm, green no. means go, though. Green does mean go. Uh, and no, none of us were wearing red. Okay. I'm sure there were people there wearing red, though. Yeah. But, bro, this thing... And this thing started a fucking fight with the donkey. No. Yeah. And we're, I'm, I'm sitting there, and I'm like, we're going to have to... If this thing gets out, who, I'm going to have to take it down. Was there a guy... <laughs> yeah. Okay, uh, here he goes. Uh, who was the person... Was it a man who was There like, was a, un man standing in the middle of the ring with a hat on and hands in his pocket. And, you know, oddly enough, I actually, it's funny I bring this up. He looked exactly like Vin. Really? Like spitting image. My brother-in-law. Yeah. And I said to Becca, I was like, that looks like Vin. Um, but just didn't move. And, like, the donkey and the bull would start to fu- full-on fight. And, and what would like, he do? Ch- oh, he would just give him one of these? Like a, ch- season, ch- a season ch- Milan? Hut! You fed up! And they'd stop? I mean, it'd take a sec, but, yeah, they, they would stop. But, bro, this thing was fucking big. I couldn't believe to a kid's party they bring a bull. Did you pet it? Yeah, of course I did. I would have pet that shit. I fed, I fed it apples. I was going to say, can you feed them? I fed it apples and carrots. Does it have a big tongue? It had a really big tongue. Because I just went to a petting zoo and I fed some fucking goats and shit and I love tongues. <laughs> <laughs> like a goat's tongue, bro. You go to the thing, you put 25 cents in, they give you a little bit of and it co- And it like rolls out of their mouth. Like it's like... <laughs> Yeah, like she just rolled up like a fucking yeah. bubble tape, and then it rolls out, and it's like... What was that? Oh, well, go- they do. goats, yeah. yeah. C- cows have big eat. tongue. I'm like, yo, just take a bite, son. He's just like... Yeah. Well, goats are little idiots. 
What was really funny though is that oh, I fed an alpaca. Your time. He was mean. Wait, the so alpaca was mean. I'm surprised. They're like they're miserable little bitches. He's and he got they got teeth. This is a full weird. animal and insect episode. We're just going for it. <laughs> I don't know. I love feeding at... Oh, there was a bo- uh No, a hog. A hog? A fat pig? Yo, the fattest. Looks sick. Like nose running. You know well, how they always look they like all that? Do. Like they, they all do. They all do. just yeah. sneezed. You know, like a child who just sneezed? Yeah. And it's such a shit coming out of his snout. Uh, I was like, oh, I love you. I, I love hogs. I would have jumped in that fucking thing and rolled around in the mud with it. Yeah? Yeah, because he was a buddy. He's walking around with his little, like, it looks like he wore I'm high shocked. heels. I'm shocked you haven't gone to the Bahamas to swim with them yet. That's like a big, yeah. that's like a big thing that people like to do. And what they... I want to do is go to the Galapagos and start really touching some animals. Not like uh, that. Whoa, Joey, Jesus Christ. I meant like, you know. Joey petting. wants to go to a tropical island and start jerking off pigs. That's not. <laughs> <laughs> I meant like, yo, you know what I'm saying? Get up close and personal with a Komodo dragon or something. Actually, oh, yeah. That's that would be sweet until it, guess what? <laughs> Bites your neck off. Yeah, but I'll have like a bunch of like raw meat. I'll throw it over there. Oh, you know, as one does, just carries raw meat with them. Oh, no. Someone will give it to me. No, I, I, I. <laughs> I am all about petting animals, oh. but the moment I saw this thing was utterless. No, because that's what you would think. You'd, you'd bring the, you'd bring something with tits to a kid party. You know what I mean? Like an of animal course. with tits. Let, let us milk this shit. Exactly. That's the allure. You've milked it. We've milked it. I was going to say, we've milked. Yeah. You know? Without each other. No, we've never milked each other. No, no. Um, And I've never been milked. I'm... Oh, I saw in that show, the the Little Dicky show. I've never been milked either. Oh, I was going to say, okay, are you thinking back to a time in college or something? No, no, no. I've never been milked. Oh, yeah, no. I've never I, been milked With either. confidence, never I been say. Milked. No milk. Um, but I have milked. I milked a fucking... A, an animal. Where were we, bro? Boy, Not, I, I wasn't too handy. wait it. for that. I, this was, <laughs> God, that I was can't a mistake. wait for this it. This was a mistake. I'm not going to lie. Oh, I, yes. It was, it was more like this. It was, it was like, yo, that milk comes out of cows at a thousand miles an hour. <laughs> Dude, son. that thing, it, I can't tell you, it hits the back of that metal pan and it's like, <laughs> yo, <laughs> I love that. How do I, yo, I love that sound. It's so because, good. Yo, it's crazy. I haven't milked a cow, bro, in 25 years, 25 years. But I, I know exactly what udders feel like yep. right now. Yep. And yep. I know what it's gonna sound like and it's so sick. Bro, and there are people sick. there are people that do that every day. Where that they're just like tough. they wake up, they fucking spit into a can, they put a bucket under a cow, and they're just like quack, 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 quack. Yeah, and they're probably nice with it. They're probably like blah, 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 blah. Yeah, man. That's the fucking, cow's probably fucking They could probably oh. they could probably two you know, double finger it. Oh, like one of these. Yeah, just like, like <laughs> when you're in Vegas and they're making you a drink with four bottles yeah. of tequila. <laughs> <You're just> like, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah, you absolutely could. Oh dude, I need to milk a cow. Now. I love that. Shrink. Too much. Shrink. That just sounds like a spaceship flying by. Shrink. Dude, not enough? Could I look up? I wonder if there's a sound. Of course, if there is a if video there is of someone milking a cow. Milk, um, milking Yo, cow we should go to a fucking into farm, dude. metal pail. I went to the Queen Zoo. I saw a puma. They got fat barreled tails. Whoa, jeez. Dude, their tails were like this. Look at me. I was like, damn, bro. This thing's got Pumas? a fat tail. Do they like use tails? I don't know. I don't know about that either. Hold on. I'm trying to see if there's a sound... All because now all technology nowadays now we have just like titty suckers that they put on cows they're just like automatically milking them. Oh my god, do they? Yeah. Damn, dude, farmers are lazy. Yeah, they are pretty fucking <laughs> lazy and stupid. Um, I, <laughs> Jesus, I take that back. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm trying to. I really want to hear uh, how that, to that milk, milk a cow in the pan. How to milk a cow by hand or goat? So goat milk. Oh wait, do they have udders too? I think female goats have udders. Really? Oh, these little fucking cowards. They have a plastic bottle. I hate that shit, bro. Get a metal pan, like, bitch. Yeah, it's like the metal is the what people want to hear. No one wants to hear it just fucking hitting sing, a play school bucket. Sing, sing. That shit is fucking sick. I love it. Bro, that this sound. thing, yo, legit, comes out 150 miles an hour. Oh, wait. The first thing you do when you go to milk is you're going to take your thumb. I want to hear it. Finger and you're going to grasp. It looks like a penis. Teeth. I'm pretty much pinching it off. At the top to hold all the milk in the teat canal. Then I'm going to take my other fingers and Come on. squeeze the milk. Oh, out. that shit is hard. <laughs> Yo, that's. Oh, I love that sound. You just want to tug on it or pull on it. You just want to Damn, it sounds like she's cutting wood. 
Bro, this thing legit looks like a dick. Dude, that sounds like she's has, she has a miter saw, like a table saw. I think it's coming out. It's like a fucking those like water cutters. You know what I mean? Yes. That, like they cut metal and shit like yes. that. That shit comes out fast. Yo, that milk is ready to go. Have you ever had raw milk? Raw milk. Yeah. What does that mean? So the milk we have is is pasteurized. It's boiled to burn off bacteria, cooled down, and served to us. Have I had dirty milk? Is what you're asking? <laughs> sure. Yeah. I guess. No. You could say well, how would I that. ever have that? Uh, they there are places that sell it. You can go to like we'll a farmer's some. Fucking freaks And the Amish <laughs> So double freaks Uh oh They're Oh they, they can't listen <laughs> They can't listen to this <laughs> They can't hear it No It's like if they hear Like something Through the airwaves They have to like You know like Praise God 12, 12 Hail Marys Yeah you An know. act of contrition or something While playing with a faceless straw doll Yeah <sighs> Sounds like a lot of fun Man uh, But yeah, yeah We gotta, have quite a bit to talk about dude, today Dude I Want to milk a cow bad Let's go to a let's go to a petting. Let's see if we can go Will to a farm. They let a thirty old man milk a cow, or is that too much? Yes, of course they'll let you milk a cow. Yeah, but at like a farm, like I have to wait in line with children. Nah, go by yourself. They're you gonna know? be like, yeah, why do you want to do Bro, this so bad? You've got the one thing that people in this life want to make things happen for them: fucking money. <laughs> <laughs> Just go to a farmer and say, yo, like, give me ten Just minutes. Just go to a farmer. I oh, what, what do I type? I, I'll, you know what? I'll type into Google Maps farm. I guarantee it'll take me to fucking Whole Foods or yeah, something. Yeah, it probably will. You're not wrong there. Uh, I, I'm sure if you look and ask hard enough, you can find a cow on a farm that you can just play with their fucking nippies all day. Well, not all day. I don't want to become desensitized to it. I still want it to be fun. You want it, Well, do it once every couple years yeah. so you really get to like appreciate it. Like, like Pete, Pete, what else can you do on a farm? <clears throat> you can Ooh, shear a sheep. I don't want to do that. Uh, well, you need to be apparently very trained to do that. It's not like something that Good. you need like a lot of. I've watched those sheer sheeping videos, and they're pretty fucking fun to watch. Bro, you ever feed a chicken? Yeah, they. Yo, that shit is scary. Yeah, bro, because they'll fuck you up. I fed a chicken. That shit is dangerous. Because like you put your hand out and there's like, pop pop. Ow! Yeah, that, <laughs> I said my. They don't know how to eat nice. Well, they eat very mean. They're very hard. evil characters, and they they just like. And I'm like, ow, ow. Yeah, it's yeah, like yeah. my yeah. hand. Yeah, and, and they always just get one. They're very fast with their head. Yeah. They're giving head way faster than you've ever been able to do. And I just don't understand why they can't just like, just like casually eat. Yeah, like get a tongue going. You ever feel a bird's tongue? No, I've never. You're making they're out with so birds? They're so dry. You're making out with birds? No, this is what birds do. No, I let my, I remember I had birds. You did have birds, that's but right. I put my finger in the cage like this, and then they bite my finger. And then they go, just your finger you put in there. You think I'm going to bite my fucking penis, Frank? <laughs> Idiot. Yeah, um, but their tongues are so, like, dry. Yeah. It's like a little, like, I can't even describe it. I don't even know what it like, would feel like. Yeah, I've like. seen Like a video. raisin. Like a raisin. Ew. Yeah. They fucking fix your tongues. Disgusting tongues, dude. Fix your disgusting. tongues. Not even a wet tongue. Probably the driest tongue in the animal kingdom. Look that up. Mm, that's a good question. Mostly because most other tongues are inside. You know who's got wet tongues? Chameleons. I don't know that I've ever like experienced one. You've never I've seen a chameleon. They're pretty rat. We almost bought one as a pet, fun fact. Really? Yeah, we uh Becca and I had gone to we were in Philly oh, with, recently. Well, yeah, like th 2 3 years ago, right before the pandemic, so 2019. Wow. We went to Philly to see Becca's sister and brother-in-law and uh while there, we like went to like a plant shop and in the back of the plant shop they had animals like for sale and they were like, "Oh, do you want this chameleon?" And we were like, oh, we went to PetSmart, and you can get a chameleon for like 20 bucks. And I'm like, yeah, because they're going to die in a week. They're like, this chameleon was big. How big? You were going to get a fucking animal that big? Yeah. And they were like, and we're like, how much? And they were like, $300. Holy shit. Yeah, dude. And we, because we wanted it, and we were like, oh, it'll turn colors and shit. And they were like, yeah. no, like, they only do that when they're scared because they're hiding. Oh, I'm scaring that thing, though. Oh, <laughs> Yeah, dude. I'm not gonna have a chameleon and the shit doesn't change color. Three hundred dollars. You better turn into my fucking ceiling. Apparently, from what they told us, that when they're happy, they have like a base color, and then when they're like terrified, that's when they camouflage. So they're like, people want them for the camouflage, but they're like kind of stressed out when you do that. Three hundred dollars. This thing better blow me. But that thing, that tongue, it comes out. That's a cool one. It comes out and it fucking like it has like grabbers on the end, like a suction cup. Oh. And it like sucks onto something. Oh, you know what's a disgusting animal? What? Ant eaters. Bro, you eat ants. I Ew. Eat, I've eaten ants. You've eaten ants. The they sell like chocolate ants. 
What makes you think I've eaten ants? <laughs> well, you're right. I don't like bugs. You're right. Well, if they're you already think I'd eat an ant? if they're already dead and their souls are not there, you might stop as well talking eat. about souls. You might as well eat because them. you're you talk about souls like you're the like you're Lucifer. I'm not a Lucifer, Joe. That oh, would be... they don't have souls. It's easy to. What is this? The soul's gone. It's just a. I... It's just a. Uh, it's just a form at that point in time. You don't, don't feel bad about eating it. I don't feel, I, Frankie. I the souls don't scare me or make me feel ill. What scares you? The legs and hands and the fangs. Yeah, those can be scary. I would understand that, but I do hate souls. their stupid faces where they're like their tongue is coming out and it's just like you know it's like yeah. And but like also, bro, imagine putting your tongue in a fucking anthill. That's crazy. I put my finger in anthills, but that's it. Just your finger. Yeah. Why do you think I put my dick in everything? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> you know. I, you figured an ant an hill before, right? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah absolutely. That's I've... one of my favorite things. You have very strange in things that you enjoy. I don't, but I'm Wait, not... so wait, wait, wait. I Hold on. Wait, 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 wait. I haven't done it in a while. Oh, 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 I haven't oh, figured oh, oh, an ant hill oh, 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 in quite oh, oh, oh. some time. You're sitting so here, not... and you're like, I'm not eating ants. I and I'm like, all right, that makes sense. And then you're just like, oh, I'm shoving my fucking fingers in every ant pussy that I see. And I was like, whoa. I'm not going to lie. When I was a kid, I used to finger legitimately every single ant hill that I saw. And But I would do it slowly. Apparently, also, you're stuffed animals, Joe. You were fingering everything. I... That was literally in confidence. Um, no, I, you said it on the show. <laughs> I know, I know. No, but I, I usually finger them slow, though, because I don't want Oh, because you want them to enjoy it. No, I don't want to hurt any ants, but I, I do want to finger it. <laughs> I want to finger their hill. You know what I mean? Also, to my understanding, which made me feel a lot better about when I was fingering all these anthills, was <laughs> that most of the building goes... Is below the ground. Well, yeah. So I'm just I'm just fucking up the top. You're, you're just you're just fucking up at the facade. You know, um, yeah, everything yeah. Got, everything on the internal works are still game. Yeah, I mean, and listen, they're very strong. You guys can fix this, bro. But I'm having are, fun. Ants are super strong. <laughs> How did this become an entire episode about insects and animals? <laughs> we wanted to talk about Kanye, a fucking guy that hasn't showered in seventy years. <laughs> What the fuck is going on? Don't stop it, because I like it. No, I don't want to stop. No, no, no. Also, yo, you know what I really liked? You know what we had in, in my basement? You probably know this. In my basement, you remember the little bugs that we had all the time? For some reason, I wasn't afraid of them. The roly polyolies. Roly polyolies. <laughs> I remember I, I saw them recently, or like within the last right couple of years, and I was like, oh, roly polyoli. And Be Becca was like, you mean a potato bug? And I'm like, the fuck is a potato bug? <laughs> yo! <laughs> Yeah, she called them. She called roly poly oly bugs potato bugs. Potato bugs. Did you did you scream? I, divorced. <laughs> She's gone. You called a lawyer. I've been single for a while. Potato bug. Oh, because they look like a baked potato. I guess. I mean, not even. Do they? They're, no, they look like roly poly. They're roly poly. You know why? Because they roll, they pull, and boy, do they all. Holy, holy poly roll. Yeah, man. I did like those. We had. We and you can and you can roll them. Yeah, when when they're terrified and afraid of being killed, you put you them in your fingers them, yeah. and just you know when they're just there. I would there, scare them on perp. You, you I would, would. I would see them walk and I go and I put my finger down like this and I oh actually I pretend to be a, a person and I would have legs. Was that? That's, that's <laughs> I, what you, I would see. So roll. instead of being yourself, <laughs> yeah, no. you're just like now I'm a person. <laughs> okay. You think of me walking? I go uh, not so fast <laughs> and then it would roll up. <laughs> You would roll up and I'd grab it. I go, look at this. And you and grab I, them and you go like and that. I just do that. And then you feel you feel their essence just leave their body when you squish them. This is right, Frankie, you really scare me when you talk about animals like this. Like, you feel real. like they're in your hand and you have all that power. No, like you're a sick person. I think I'm that's not sick. Dude. I think that you're sick. They're insects. No, you no. only hear about serial killers killing cats and fucking wolves and shit like that. You're not hearing them kill insects. <laughs> And wolves. We have more ads, though. <laughs> more? What, what has happened? More to ads? <laughs> Who is it? Please tell Cats me. It's, please wolves. tell me. It's like ASPCA or some shit. <laughs> Imagine. This one is a, a wolf company that we have here. No, okay. <laughs> well, here's something that Frankie could probably use. Better help. Um, <laughs> this show is sponsored by Better Help. Um, BetterHelp is online counseling, uh, uh, therapy. So you can talk to a therapist in just under 48 hours if you want to. <laughs> and, uh, it's, uh, been helping a lot of people. I know people have messaged me in the past and they said they love BetterHelp. I know people who use who personally use it every single week. Uh, you can do it via FaceTime or just a phone call or whatever you want. 
Uh, the best part about it is that it is way more affordable than in-person therapy, which can be like insanely expensive if you don't have the right insurance. Um, so on top of it being already affordable and very accessible, you can save 10% off your first month at betterhelp.com slash basement yard. Um, so yeah, I mean, as 3 million people who they match with professional licensed and vetted therapists available 100% online, plus, uh, like I said, it's affordable. All you have to do is fill out a brief questionnaire to match with a therapist. If things aren't clicking, you can easily switch. They make that very easy. Uh, no waiting rooms or anything. And like I said, you can save 10% off your first month at betterhelp.com slash basement yard. That's betterhelp, H-E-L-P dot com slash basement yard. Uh, and lastly here we have stamps.com which brings all the amazing services of the post office to your home all you need is a printer basically uh, you can print postage wherever you do business at your office at your apartment it doesn't matter uh, all you need is a computer and a printer and uh, you if you need a package pickup you can easily schedule it through your stamps.com dashboard so you really are saving a lot of time and money you don't have to drive anywhere or uh, you know wait in any lines or anything and also you're saving money uh, because there's some discounts online that you don't get in store. So uh, you get rates up to 86% off, which is wild. So, uh, you know, the holiday season is approaching rapidly. So, uh, you know, people are going to be sending some packages. You might as well save some money by stamps using stamps.com. And you can sign up with the promo code BASEMENT for a special offer that includes a four-week trial plus free postage and a free digital scale. No long-term commitments or contracts. Just go to stamps.com, click on the microphone at the top of the homepage, and enter the code basement all right there you go folks man i love bugs and animals dude i'm glad that we're talking about this stuff we're just having a bug and animal filled day yeah. this is gonna really really resonate with one percent of our population well i think it's resonating with a lot of people especially like now oh we hit a million followers on tiktok by the you, way god damn it you cut me out joey i was gonna say and if we get one percent of our followers on tiktok to move over to the Basement Yard Patreon. We're going to be able to dress up and drag. Patreon.com slash Basement Yard. Join today. We get to 12,000 patrons, which we're fucking super close right now. <laughs> Granted, the month is ending, so we're going to dip a little bit. But if we get to 12,000, Joey and I are going to do a full episode in professional drag. We're going to have a makeup artist come in, do the whole shebang, document it, do an episode in it. But it's going to be for our patrons. Patreon.com slash the Basement Yard. Sign up for that first tier. You get these weekly episodes a week in advance. Get in on all the conversation a week before anybody else. And that second tier... That's where you get those exclusive episodes on Friday. So every single week, you get two doses of The Basement Yard. Patreon.com slash The Basement Yard. Very good, Frank. Yeah. Um, Where's my phone? Uh-oh. I was going to pull up the dirty man, the but now I don't know. No, fuck it. Let's stuff. keep talking about birds and but, dogs and well, shit. No, not b birds. Wait, well, we did we talk about birds. We did birds talk about birds bit. and their gross-ass tongues. Yeah. I had iguanas. I've told about my, my iguanas. I've seen, I've seen monkeys jerk off. I don't know if that's the right segue. What? But I have seen it at the zoo. You've seen monkeys jerk off at, at the zoo. At me, at the zoo. At jerking off at you. Yes, from behind the screen. Why can monkeys do it, but Louis C.K. can't? It's a great question. <laughs> <laughs> the Louis C.K. Yeah, can't. yeah, yeah. It disappeared. My All right, well, we could. you want me to talk about it? What? <clears throat> so there was, a, 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 I believe he was Iranian yeah, man. from Iran. Uh, by the name of... Oh, good luck with this, by the way. Amu Haji. Okay. Very easy. Well, okay. Uh, world's uh, dirtiest man dies after uh, 67 years of not taking a shower. Uh, the gentleman was 94 years old, and he gained notoriety for his pursuit of what some might consider a filthy lifestyle. His fellow villagers in Deja, I hope I'm saying that right, uh, southern province of Fars said Haji gave up bathing after emotional setbacks in his youth. Stop. What is that? Someone made fun of him, and then he was like, fuck this, I'm not washing. It's like, you're too clean, and he's like, all right, watch this. Yeah. That's 67 years of not showering. What does this dude smell like? Apparently, he also he lived in a uh, cement block house. I saw that. Which was Isn't covered that in... just a house? <laughs> I guess, yeah. Which you know? was covered in soot. He was covered in soot. Which he and the house were probably covered in. You don't get one without the other. No, no, no. Uh, and uh, he lived... On a diet reportedly of raw meat and cigarettes. Hitting all of the categories that you need to hit. So not only was he externally disgusting, internally also disgusting. His lungs were covered in soot. Yeah, <laughs> yeah it's not only the dirty part of his outs, can it was I the ins. Can I say something about soot? How do you spell it? S-O-O-T. Oh, okay. 
What did you think? Where did you think I was going to throw a cue in there? I don't know. So, soot. Hmm. The f- when was the first time you've heard of soot? Uh, fire Prevention Week. Really? Yeah. I'll tell you mine, and I'll tell you why I was, like, really interested in it as a kid. Wait, you were interested in soot? <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> what the fuck is that? <laughs> when you say it back to me, <laughs> yeah, you're like, I'm going to tell you why and why I was really interested in it as a kid. No, look, you know what I can say that about football, <laughs> insects, you know, a fucking drawing, other shit, not soot. Listen, I'll tell you why. 101 Dalmatians, the cartoon movie. Mm-hmm. There's a scene where the fucking dog, or one of the dogs, or a bunch of the dogs, they start playing in some soot. I would say about 101 of them, probably. <laughs> yeah. So they start playing in the soot, uh-huh. right? And it gives them different spots. Oh, no, they look like black dogs because they're covered in soot. Oh, okay. So it hides them from whoever, Jasper and Horace. And, uh, Is that, was that their names? Yeah. Okay. So <laughs> when I was younger, I saw them playing in the soot, and I was like, damn, that shit looks fire. So I was trying to get some my hands on some soot. So you can go blackface. Now that you said that. <laughs> <laughs> innocently, when I was a kid, you I probably did. Probably. I was like, yo, that would be so sick. You innocently as a kid wanted to do blackface. Uh, yeah, before I knew anything. Which, uh, that was the only a probably, uh, uh, definitely not appropriate time to do it, I would say. Yeah, I don't think there was an appropriate time ever. So you were, let's just... I just want to summarize your story here. Just put it in a nice, neat little ball so it's less laborious to tell this story. Holy fuck. You, fuck you. you were interested in soot <laughs> because you watched the 101 Dalmatians animated movie where the dogs rolled around in it. Yeah, and I was like, that looks cool. And it looked sort of like it felt good. You think <laughs> that rolling around in a fucking <laughs> residue... Yo, it's crazy gotcha. because I've never said this out loud. Well, and it just reminded me when you said the word soot. It just how was stupid. Like, Yo, I used to love that. Of how stupid it was. It's all right. We've all been there. I think I'm the only person on planet Earth that, was, that has ever been like, I'm a big fan of soot. No, I, trust me. Something I've learned from our show and uh, the comment section is that you, for some reason, are uh, in touch with the freaks of the world. Oh my god, that was so funny. Yeah, no, I, I, but this guy was just like living, like he didn't shower because apparently he had said that he believed that soap and water were going to kill him. Which, huh. this guy sounds like he was all fucked up. Well, that's a conspiracy. Maybe it's like a drowning. Drowning? Yeah, like he's like a fear of drowning. Oh, like a, like a hydrophobe. Yeah, what do you call me? Hydrophobe. Oh, okay. Yeah, I would, I would say something like that probably. Yeah, I mean... The world's dirtiest man. How do you measure that? You're like, yo, let me do an autopsy. Well, on when, your when you have the record for not showering. That's fair. Bro, I, I don't shower. Like, I've gone a day without showering. And I, what was the longest you've ever gone without showering? Honestly, two days. I, that, I can, that I can think of. Bro, when we used to go to Connecticut. That's not true. That's not fair. First of all, I had a house there, had a shower. Two, the lake is like showering. I mean, come on. No. A shower is a shower. Jumping in a fucking bathing, lake. bathing. We should say bathing. Okay, but what's the longest you went without bathing? I was, I honestly, that I can remember two days. I'm sure there's longer though, but I, I physically can't remember. I can't. I, I don't know the. I, I want to say four days. I can tell you when I don't bathe, I get like there's like a bitter smell to my pussy, like, a, like an onion pussy. It, yes, you honestly, an, yes. You have an onion flavored pussy. I have my my. Undercarriage. Yeah. It smells like sharp shallots. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just just a spicy like something that's been seared. Yeah. Yes. If you cut into it. No, well searing browns it, which makes it sweeter. No sweetness here, babe. Yeah. I got a spicy ass. Bitter pussy. And an astringent bonch. No, that's a word I'm not familiar with. <laughs> Astringent? Look it up. You, you, you figure it out. Is that your new one? No. Good. Because I can do without these words. What, 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 Joey, the fact that you... Like, I wonder how long this laborious streak is going to last. There's no streak, Joey. It's a part of my vocabulary, so it comes up during our episodes. That's it. That is it, isn't it? That's it. 
It's a natural part of our conversation. Whatever. Read um, the tea leaves and you'll see. It's, it's how there. old was the dirty man? Ninety four. <laughs> oh, that's a bad age to not shower because ninety four year olds smell like shit anyways. Do they? Bro, you ever smelled an old person? Not a ninety four year old. Oh my god, they've got so many wrinkles and just gross shit. Yeah. Damn. I hope no one has to wash me ever. Yeah. Me too. Someone washing me, I'd just be like, bro, just fucking cover, kill me. Just cover my face with a pillow. Just, just not even. Just like fill up the bathtub and put me in face down. Yeah. <laughs> I, I won't get up. Yeah, just throw a TV in there. Not even TVs. You see how big TVs are nowadays. Do you Joey? think that's real though? Do you think that like TVs? No. <laughs> Do you think that if I got in my bathtub, and then someone threw their toaster in it, I would just fry? Yes, Joey. Really? I mean, a plugged-in toaster, not a fucking unplugged one. That I know. Yes, Joey. Really? Yes, Joey. You know what? Give it a shot. Go for it. You think there's enough wattage? Uh, I would. I would. Or tend- volts. I What's would, the difference between volts and watts? No clue. Letters. I, I guess. think volts are the power, and watts are watts are like watt volts. Okay, I got you. I think I figured it out. Volts feel like power, well, but volts are the external power. So, like, if I'm shocking you, you're getting hit with volts. Okay. But what what I'm shocking you with, it tr- it's getting is charged wattage. up with watts. So it's it's wattage. The wattage is what creates the volt. I think so, and. Honestly, this is coming from two men, by the way. Uh, my family, all electricians. I yeah. should know this. <laughs> <It's so electric. laughs> Literally every single one of my them. My dad owned a construction company. When Watts he was versus volts. Are you ready? Wattage is the SI unit of power. Up. Oh. Volts is the SI unit of potential difference. Th- this SI? Is not, that's Sports not. Sports Illustrated. This is not. <laughs> this is not answering. Uh, how many watts are in a volt? Five. No. Oh, a one hundred. One. <laughs> Oh, um, understand the difference. It, uh, all right, hold there's on. There's no difference. It's the SI. Actually, I knew it. It's the SI. Uh, yeah, there's literally, uh, there's only like very scientific terminology used here, and I don't care to try to figure it out. Hmm. If I would love to, I think it's all like it's probably all like fr- uh, frogs and toads. The frogs and toads, like all watts are volts, and volts are not all watts. You know? No, I don't know. I, I neither think, do you. I think I, I think that's it. No, I think I figured it I out. I would call my dad and ask him, but. God only knows. We're at the end of Should I episode. call my dad? No. Oh, that would be good. Because my dad would pretend. Frank! My dad, you know how like we pretend to know things and don't? Right. Do you know where we get that from? Yeah. Do you know where? You think, oh, you think it's a cute thing we do for the Basement Yard podcast you could find on patreon.com slash the Basement Yard? <laughs> no. I would call my dad. I'd be like, what's the difference between watts and volts? And he'd be like, volts are gay. I'd be like, all right, see ya. <laughs> <laughs> I'd call my dad. He'd be like, well, I'll tell you this. What? That came from George Lincoln. Yeah, and I'm like, all right. If that's- <laughs> it would be, yo, my dad would do the same. You ask him a question, he goes, well, hold on. We got to trace it back. And uh, God forbid I told him, I'm like, oh, I'm on the basement yard. He'd be like, oh, well, hold on. Here, I yeah. got to explain oh, the whole my- thing. I, al- I almost don't know. Electricity, if- Ben Franklin, the kite. I'd be like, bro. I almost don't know if my dad would, like, play it up if I was on the- I'd have to be like, because if I told him, like, dad, we're recording, he'd be like, what? You know, like he'd be like he wouldn't get it. I don't think yeah. he'd grasp it. But yeah, my dad, we he would he would come up with some absolute bullshit, and then I wouldn't believe him. Mm-hmm. Swear he's dumb, despite the fact that he spent thirty years in the electrical union. Of course, and then go on with my life. Wasn't, isn't he on like a board somewhere, or is that your uncle? <laughs> That's my uncle. Oh, okay. That's uh. Well, if I call him, I forget. He'll it. be like, "What is your geolocation? I'm yeah. on my way." <laughs> I'm writing. I'm writing my organic. Don't worry about it. I'll fix it. I have a grass-fed bike. I'm on the way. Grass-fed bike. <laughs> All right. Well, I don't know what the fuck to title this thing. Uh, we just cr- talked about spiders the whole time. The boys versus creepy crawlers. Okay. Got yeah, it. Man. There it is. That's yeah. a good answer. Creepy yeah, wow. crawlers. You remember that, that toy from when we were kids? No. You don't remember creepy crawlers? They were. Uh, it was like a station, and you can make your own gummy worms or like gummy spiders and stuff like that. My mom never got us any of that. Well, yeah. anything where you could like, you had to like make shit. Really? We had some of it. We had a it was a Harry Potter one that you can make potions and they came out like gummies. Damn, that's fucking fire. It was pretty dude. frat, honestly. And it like the wand spun itself. It was pretty sick. I got to show you it. Damn. Yeah, pretty cool. F Alvarez8085 on Twitter, the Frank Alvarez on Instagram, Cameo, YouTube. Go check out my YouTube show. Uh getting that off the ground doing some food stuff on there. So, check it out. And then Patreon.com. on. 
Uh, you guys can go follow the show on TikTok and Instagram. Just hit that million on TikTok. Already at 1.1. Trying to shoot for two. A milli, a milli. Like I said, go to TikTok and Instagram at the basement yard, and that is all. See you guys next time. Don't go killing bugs or chasing waterfalls. <laughs>